Google hates affiliates. You might have heard that before, but guess what? I'm here to prove that it's completely false. I've spent over $6 million on Google Ads in the last five years. I'm gonna show you inside my Google Ads account as an affiliate marketer, and you're gonna learn the top six reasons why most affiliate marketers fail completely with Google Ads, and I'm gonna show you how to avoid those failures and start earning fast income from affiliate marketing online. So let's go inside my computer and let's describe what's happening and why people think Google doesn't like affiliate marketers. Okay, here we are inside my Google Ads account, and as you can see, I've been running consistent traffic for almost seven years now on Google Ads, and this is all for affiliate marketing campaigns. Over $6 million in spend, roughly a million dollars a year, and over 202,000 conversions on Google Ads. Now let's talk about why most affiliates think that Google doesn't work or that they lose their accounts quickly. The reason why a lot of people lose their accounts or they fail is the number one problem, which is the destination requirements. You see, Google wants people to have a good user experience when they search and whether they click on an ad or whether they click on an organic result, they want, Google wants the visitor to be happy when they arrive on the end page. And so, just like organic traffic, we need to optimize our pages for ads as well. So there are rules and specific policies you must follow as an affiliate marketer, and your destination experience must follow every single one of these rules to a T. And the biggest one that we have a challenge with is this one called the bridge page, doorway, gateway policy where we are not allowed to link to other pages if we just build a page that is only catered to make people click through to another page. Now you would think, hey, Joey, that's what affiliate marketing is. We build landing pages. We want people to come to our landing page and then click through to the affiliate offer. That's the purpose of our landing page. But there are ways that you can design your website and design your landing pages so that you offer value to the end user. And that is key here and it is what makes a, the difference between losing your account or spending six million dollars over the next five years. The key here is make sure you're building high quality websites and high quality content. Now, if you want examples of that and you wanna see the step-by-step -step process I use and what other affiliates are using, then check out the link down in the description. It's the first link you're gonna see. It is called the 30 Day Challenge and it is our Google Ads course that we just launched and it talks about everything I'm about to share with you in depth and it shows you a live example of what is happening here and how we're able to comply with the Google Ads policy. So be sure to check out that link and, uh, for more details on how to do this specifically. Okay, so the second reason why most people fail with Google Ads, especially affiliates, is they set up uh, redirects and they end up losing their account for what is called circumventing systems. You might have heard of this policy before, circumventing systems, and as soon as Google sees certain redirects happening, or maybe your payment method was not correct, or maybe you're using a prepaid credit card, all of these things can result in what is called a circumventing systems ban, and that is one of the worst bans you can have as an affiliate marketer because usually they don't go back on that policy. So be sure when you're setting up your Google Ads account that you are not using a, a, a VPN, you're going in, you're the real person, you're using your own email address, you're using a credit card that's in your name, a real credit card, you set that up. And when you're setting up your first campaign, do not use an affiliate tracker that does not work with parallel tracking. And what I mean by that is that you do not want to use redirects from your ad to your landing page. You want to go directly to your landing page and track the direct traffic. I use CPV Lab Pro for that. That is the tracking system I use. They have a system that allows me to track my Google Ads campaign without using redirects and I get to keep all the data and I'm not giving that data to a third party. That is what I like about CPV Lab Pro. The next big thing that people do wrong once they actually get into Google Ads and they're running campaigns is they auto apply recommendations or they listen to the advice of their Google Ads rep. I'm sorry if you're an ad rep out there and you're watching this, but most of the time these auto recommendations are built to make you spend more money when you implement them on an already running campaign that has a ton of data 
you'll find that your campaign does a whole bunch of weird things and you start spending a whole bunch more money. So be careful on applying the recommendations. When you come into your Google Ads account, you'll see over here on the left, recommendations, and you'll see a whole bunch of recommendations on how to better improve your campaign. Now, there are some good recommendations in there. Sometimes they'll offer you new keywords that you can start running or they'll tell you about some ad ideas that you can implement. But for the most part, do not auto apply the recommendations. Do a good thorough analysis on what they're recommending and how much more it's going to cost you. We describe that in detail in the course that I just mentioned. Number four, most affiliates fail at sending conversions back into Google Ads. This is a big one. Google Ads has automated bidding. They have automa automatic strategies on how to get your ads in front of the right people that are converting. If you are not giving conversion data back to Google Ads, you will fail eventually. Because what happens is as more conversions happen, Google can see who's searching for what, what position you're in, what country you're in, what time of day these conversions happen, and they start to show your ads at the right time, in the right locations, to the right people. So be sure that you're sending conversion data back. And for that, I use CPV Lab Pro again for, for sending the conversion data back through uploads and stuff like that. It's all described on the CPV Lab support site and how to do this. And I can't stress how important it is to have these conversions showing up inside Google so that you can, over time, optimize a lot easier and eventually your campaigns will run on their own. Next, I wanna talk about bid strategy. As you can see here in every campaign when you're setting it up, you can set a bid strategy. A lot of times Google will recommend that you start out with a maximized conversions or a target CPA. But if you're just starting out and you don't have any data inside your account, it's really hard to just tell Google a target CPA because they don't have any data on what is actually happening for that conversion that you've set up and they don't know how much it's going to cost. So if you start with a target CPA bid, then what's going to happen is you're just going to get a whole bunch of traffic and a lot of it is going to be expensive and you're not really going to have any data. So one of the strategies I've been using that seems to be working quite well is I start with a manual cost per click. So when you're doing your bidding, you set a manual cost per click and you can see there's other strategies here. You can maximize clicks, which also is pretty good, I must say, when you're starting out. And you'll see that Google does not recommend this. They want people to use the automated bidding. But like I said, when you're first starting a campaign, you're gonna probably wanna start with a manual cost per click or a maximize clicks so you can get traffic and hopefully some of those people will start converting. And then over time, you're going to get conversions into Google at which point then you can switch to a more strategic bidding strategy like uh, maximize conversions with a target CPA. You can see here, you can set so if you're getting paid, say, $35 from your network or your affiliate program and you want to make a profit, you can set a target CPA here, maybe $25 or $30, whatever it is. And you can, over time, you'll see Google does, in fact, do quite well at getting your target CPA to where it should be as long as you're giving it the data it needs and you have a good user experience on your landing page. So there's certain things you need to make sure you do first before you get to this stage, but this is a very important one that you need to understand. The last one I want to talk about is choosing the right affiliate offer. Now you can see here, this is an old campaign from me. I was actually running Garcinia Cambogia back in the day. Now for any of you OGs out there who've been around for a long time. You probably know and have heard of Garcinia Cambogia, and that was one of the fad diets probably seven years ago. Uh, as you can see, this was still running back in the day, and nowadays, if you were to run a campaign that is a, a highly you know fad diet, you'd probably get banned right out of the gates if you started a campaign and started running something like this. So I wanna be sure that you understand that when you see everybody making money from this crazy offer um, like Exapure or one of these ClickBank diet products or a skincare or you know anything related to trials. You need to be very careful that you pick an offer that is compliant with Google, especially if it's your first campaign on Google. Google has a good way of knowing if you're just coming in to try and circumvent their systems or use uh, affiliate links and landing pages. They have a really good way of just automatically banning you. 
So you need to be careful and warm up your account, we'll say, and give them good quality ads, good quality landing pages, and good offers. So don't start with a trial offer or something that's fad diets or anything like that. Come in and maybe start with your own squeeze page where you collect an email and you send them information afterwards to sell them these you know, high risk products that you might find on CPA affiliate networks. So if you want more information on the best offers, the best setup for affiliate landing pages, how to set up your, your compliance and all of your legal pages, how to bid and set up your campaigns, check out the link that is at the top of the description here. It is the 30 day challenge. It is the fastest way to get started with affiliate marketing and seeing results. You don't have to spend years building content, doing SEO, all of this stuff. You're gonna get traffic immediately and you'll know if you picked the right niche, the right offers and all of that stuff. We'll show you some tools that you can use to make this a lot easier, how to spy on what other people are doing, everything you need to know. Just check the link and we'll see you in the next video.